Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Mario Mario and Luigi. This was our saga plus last time. We made it through the entirety of Chuckalhook Woods and we saved Queen Bean from a most uh, fearful situation. And in this episode in this part, we're just gonna mainly take care of all the town things that we can do now, plus some side stuff. So before we get done get through with any of the side stuff, now that we have the uh the this we can get this bean here. And get this shekel bean I think it is, yeah here. And there's also something over here we can get. If I would stop there. And this is a little side area you can go to, which plays kind of like, kind of like the 2D Mario games. So yeah. Anyways, just uh, dodge the photo boost, and once you reach here, you get a boost room DX, which. The Boost Room DX raises a random stat by two, and they replace the gold with mushrooms in this game, which in vanilla would heal all your HP and BP. Uh, an item such as that would be completely broken in a mod like this, which is why it's changed. Anyways, up here, uh, can't get we can't get that just yet. Have, what we can get though, I think, is this over here, which is gonna require a good spin jump to reach. That yeah, it's like you have to be at literally the edge without falling off. Like, you have to be at the very edge. Yeah. And this is all just for a blue bean. We have another blue bean spot here. I don't, I don't think this is a spot where. Yeah, this is. But, anyways, now that we have access to those moves, we can go over here and send Luigi under this gate to open it. And we can get another hidden chuckle bean right there. And uh, we head to this pipe and we have number two. So there, are, I believe, are a total of nine pipes in this, uh, in this game, and I'm not heading this way yet because that would be quite literally suicide. But we do have actually something here, and if you uh, do your digging move on the middle of these four flowers, you got something called a bean fruit. Which might just seem like a random thing to get. But it'll have its uh, moment in due time. Anyway, I'm just gonna head back to this area and just get the thing we missed. Well, I'm, kinda... I'm gonna have to fight the enemy, aren't I? I need a first strike it. Are you kidding me? Oh well, there. They're not going to do that much damage to us, and we'll deal it all back. But, uh, actually, I think there's only one spot there. Is there... is there one spot? This might... this right here might be a hidden... No, it's not. 
Uh, one way you could tell if an area has a hidden checkpoint spot is, well, with what we're about to do, it'll be it'll get showcased a lot easier, I guess. So let's uh, let's head back to town. Avoiding all the enemies. Avoiding all the uh, enemies. back in town. Anyway, there are two side quests you could do here. And this just tell you like basic things. Or actually here it tells you there are pits that are invisible to naked eye. Tiny people stand on top of these invisible pits. Tiny people react strangely. And Play on a Nintendo GameCube will cause the controller to react. Which, because I'm playing this on an emulator, uh, that's not gonna matter at all. Anyways, let's talk to this dude here. Sure. An ancient soybean civilization. Age of flying spin beans, tunneling wall beans, and fast moving dash beans. Yes, yeah, so all evidence points to this advanced bean civilization once gracing this land. As for the whereabouts of the beans, the, the heretofore hidden treasures of the soybeans, I perhaps stumbled across some astounding facts relating to this matter. I theorize this, that perhaps the bean stones were indeed buried and still rest beneath this very town. I desire so greatly to dig this town down to its foundations, and even deeper if I must. Yet how am I to even guess where to begin digging? Where? The mind recoils at the thought. I asked to do this. How happy would I be if the two of you were to dig up these artifacts? I'd be quite happy to leave them they perhaps reward you. And if we. So basically, if we find all ten. Uh, whatever it's called. He'll give us a reward. And as you can see here, this is what I was talking about. If you. Mario will react based on. Like, uh, you'll see the exclamation above his head, and when he moves over to something you can dig up, it'll get bigger. So, we can dig this up, and it is a bean stone. And basically, there's one here, yeah, around this spot here, like there. So there are five here, and then five over in the other district. Uh, I believe there is this one here, I think. Might be... I know there's one here somewhere. Oh, yeah, here it is. It's, uh, right, right under that bush. You see there, uh... The, yeah, the one above Luigi. And then I think I think there's one here. Oh yeah, there's one uh, right here. And I think the last one is somewhere around the front of the shop. Yep, here it is, right there. And so that clears out all of them here. And then, uh, we can do the same for this place. There's one here, I think. And there's actually one on this pill, this little thing here. Which I believe is... Ah, here it is. You always have to be like kind of exact with where you uh, do the thingy. Uh, I think there's no, there's. I don't think there's one here. I know there's one up here. I think, yeah, right there. And that brings us, I think, up to how many is it? Is it eight? 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. So, I'm actually not quite sure where the... Oh, right, it's... I think there's one here. Somewhere... Somewhere around here is one of them, I think. Oh, no. It's, uh... One's up here. Yeah. Uh... Right there. I believe the last one is up here. Right up against the side here. Yep. And that would be all ten. And once you get all ten, you can go over here, talk to this dude, and he will give you one of the one of the best badges in this point of the game. Which as you see, it raises BP immensely and power too, which is why I'm going to give it to Mario. Now, there's another side quest you can do here by talking to this guy. There. Do it. There. So, his little pet beanlets went off somewhere, and if we catch all five of them, He'll give us something. And these are a lot easier to find than the beanstones because they're actually in like plain sight. There's uh, two, I think, in this, and then three in the other part of town. Yeah, there's one on top of this house. Which is a very. <laughs> It's a very trippy looking roof, I gotta say. Up, oh, there's one on top of this roof. And the last one that may be a bit hard to find, but it's actually, if this dude could get out of the way, right here. Now that we have all five, we can talk to this dude. And he gives us a Boost Room DX. And I'm going to use this Boost Room DX right away. I'll give one to Mario. And it raises his BP by two. And I'll give the other one to Luigi, which also raises his BP up by two. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to sell bean pants because we don't need them. I'm also going to sell the bean badge because I don't need it. Or the castle badge because I don't need it. And I want to buy syrups. Because I am running out on them. Uh, I'll also buy a couple mushrooms. I, no, I don't want to. Alright, should be good there. And last part, the last part I want to talk about is this big building here. It's actually the Starbeans, the famous Starbeans Cafe. So, no, would, I'm pretty sure give you a tutorial about how it works, but basically, you have your you have the amount of you have the amount of beans here that you have and dropping the number in you can hit A to you can hit A to make the thing and we only have 8 so we can't make a chocolate chain now but what we can make is not a Teehee plant, but a Teehee Espresso, which all the combinations use Woo Beans plus the other bean. So we have seven different ones to make. 
one for each of the four different beans, and one with a ruby plus the three others. So, so we'll make the Tiki Espresso, which I forget what it actually boosts. But I didn't come in here just to get a stat boosting item. Drawn out all the ghosts in this place. It's Professor E. Gad using the famous um I actually forgot what it's called because I haven't seen Luigi's Mansion at all. I actually still need to play Dark Moon because I did actually get that game, and I might get the 3DS remake. So I can actually play Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, Egad's here. This, uh, this, the Bean Bean Machine is actually his latest invention. And we give him the drink we just created. We give him a little sip. And he'll actually give us... He'll give us an, an equip. And these are new types of these are new types of items we can equip that have a multitude of different things. This one will let you hold the button to float on defense, which means you'll get an extra bit of air time whenever you jump, which will help dodge attacks easier. And I actually want to give this to Mario because his defense I don't think is oh it's actually. I might actually want to give that to Luigi. Then. Well, I do have him with the Lucky Charm. Uh, how do I, how do I unequip it? I want to unequip it. Am I? Am I? All right. Well. I'm gonna fight an enemy really quick to get one blue bean. I think these enemies drop blue beans. Oh, I think they have a chance to. Cause I, I really just I need I just need one. God damn it! I literally just need one blue bean. I know I could. Jump on an enemy. And there we go. Alright. So, now that we have one Ruby, we can get the Woo thing. The Woo, the Woo, the Woo Who uh, blend. See, Egad charges back in. He smells the new drink that we made. And he's gonna drink this one. And we get the power grip. Love that line. Never built any toilets in this place. Poltergeist 3000, that's what it's called. Are you planning on being the janitor around here? 
Just out of curiosity, can I blend? Well, no, I obviously can't blend Chuckle. I probably also can't blend Hoo Hoo, yeah. Oh, see, yeah. So, the Woo Hoo, the Tihi, the Tihi Expresso will give plus five to a random stat, and the Woo Hoo Blend will give plus three to a Bro's stat. And I want Luigi to actually have that, and kind of also wanting to give this to Luigi to hope to get speed. Alright, the stash doesn't hurt. But, uh, yeah, the power grip we got, never drop the hammerhead on defense, which means... Basically, whenever you hold down the hammer button, it you will never drop the the hammer, and that's pretty good. I do. I I think the shot. I think I already went over the shops. I don't think they. Yeah, they don't have any new. Yeah, they don't have any anything there. Yeah, they don't have anything new. So, uh, I think that's all for now. I think next time we'll go to we'll go outside. We'll go to the outskirts and do some stuff there and maybe We'll even head, start heading to Woohoo University to tangle with Cackletta. Anyways, that's all. See you guys next time. Later.